<laughs> oh my god Tony wants you to put Benge Go commando And then just ride standing up Like that So mm-hmm. that you could just there, You create a gap <laughs> There's a gap of space <laughs> The seat, your thighs, and then your sack just there. And all mm. it is is just the pure wind of the fucking Benge and the Abani yeah. and, and the natural natural fans, really. Mm-hmm. Just I mean. just little doughy flapping in the wind, free. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the One Up Podcast. I am your host, El Caballo, a.k.a. Jose. Here with some of my nearest and dearest. Yeah, I'm doing Jose today, boys. Huh. <laughs> it's an I interesting like change. I, every time I change it, every face is shocked. I you, did the you, right-hand man change. Pucho was shocked. <laughs> like, this is beautiful. Let yeah, me finish one episode. I'm the right-hand man, now. then Doe's yeah. the right-hand man. <laughs> You gotta gotta keep it fresh for everybody, man. I've been I've been calling you Tony to all my friends, so they're about to be like Jose. Oh, this is this guy an illegal <laughs> alien? Why is what's with all these name changes? Oh my god, that's a you, joke. You just think joke. anybody with like a Spanish sounding name is a people? Illegal people alien? would say I'm an illegal alien. People would they? say <laughs> well, all <laughs> these names that I have, I have like thirty different names. To be honest, people know me oh. by a lot of different names. Shit's fucking ridiculous. I heard that most illegal aliens are are here. No, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but like are are here just because their visas expired. They came over here to start working. Their visa expired, and they just stood over here. And there are people from all around the world that I know from New York. I'm not ratting anybody out, but sure. So yeah, th- there's like a big <laughs> misconception about that where like. People envision this world where most of the illegal um, immigrants are like crossing borders, going through deserts, hiring, yeah. hiring coyotes and things like that. And it's like, while that stuff does happen, it's just not reflective of the vast majority of cases, which really are just people get a visa. They overstay because their visas didn't get renewed or they fucked up somehow. And then then that's it. They end up undocumented. Is, yeah. Is what really well, what I mean- the status is. You got to ask yourself what's easier, taking a legal flight into a country and just overstaying or, you know, going on a boat and hoping <laughs> that you make it to the other side of the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that sucks. That so, uh, Tony, do, do, you, you want to go ahead and uh, uh, do what, the intro? What did you no, call Yeah, them? yeah. That, that's, the, you know, we're doing it early today with the side tracks. But, yes, I'm here with my nearest and dearest. <laughs> Doe. Mateo and Pucho, man. So, uh, Doe, tell me about your week, man. How was it? Weekend was good. Was What's good. going on with you? I have a, I have a sad realization. I, I finally took off my big boy pants. I usually wear these biking shorts everywhere I go. I fucking pad up and like gives you like your crotch area, um, like protection. Okay. I took, I took them off. Cycling is now, yo, my balls are so sore. <laughs> like, my whole crotch area is like, yo, that shit is flaming hot Cheetos down there. Very tenderoonies. Go see a doctor. Yeah. I remember me and Everett spent a summer riding our bicycles, like, every single day, <laughs> everywhere for hours. And I remember, yo, my crotch was destroyed. Like, the whole, like, the gooch area, the ba- the bottom of my ass cheeks to the, the bottom of my ball sack... It was just like it, raw. That's all. That's the only word I could use. It was horrible. I couldn't what? believe it. It was the worst. Yeah, I guess so I. I guess I haven't put any significant amount of time onto my bike. I've never experienced. <laughs> yeah, this. I gotta. I gotta put my my big boy pants back on because this shit is a, is not working. What is it? Is it padding? It's a padding. Yeah, for your crotch area. It's like what, a, it's what like drove spandex. you to remove them? I just was like, I'm tired of it. It's like wearing a diaper underneath your <laughs> your you, your pants. You know, actually, uh, I saw in one of the cycling forums that there's a trick for relief with that. You get some Ben Gay. 
<laughs> Yo, I thought he was gonna say something serious, but then again, he strikes. <laughs> yeah, does, does it involve a fan? It does involve a, what is it, abanico? Abanico. <laughs> you don't need a fan when you're riding around in your bike. You got natural wind right there, man. You gotta wear pants when you're riding on your bike. You can't yeah. just you can't just go commando out there. Oh my god! Tony wants you to put Benge, go commando, and then just ride standing up like that, so mm-hmm. that you could just there you create a gap, <laughs> just, just a gap of space. <laughs> The seat, your thighs, and then your sack just there. And all mm. it is is just the pure wind of the fucking Bengay and the Abani yeah. and, and the natural natural fans, really. Mm-hmm. Just I mean. just little doughy flapping in the wind, free. <laughs> Could you That's imagine disgusting. someone just coming by him falling and his like whole shit just bangs on the handlebars? Like the, the oh my god. That's you're going to the hospital. You like the handlebars. Something about the pavement, like the 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 asphalt of the road, just falling on that, like naked or like just all thigh, and uh, that sounds painful. Like no, uh, you don't want an open wound touching New York City streets. You oh yeah, get a disease. People be out there just pissing everywhere. Quickly. You don't want that at all. <laughs> all in New York City is just covered. Just it's just gonorrhea. AIDS. It's just AIDS gonorrhea. And gonorrhea. What the fuck? It's just terrible. <laughs> yeah. That's wild, though. So, you have padding every time you ride your bike. I used to, but then, like, this past two weeks, I kind of was like, let me just not. I'm going to free. Like, I guess free balling is really what I was doing on my so, bike. So, you literally <laughs> can't just put, like, your, your your boxers on or your pants and just go. I mean, I have been, but I'm now experiencing some some pretty tenderoonies in the balzeroonies. The, the, That's crazy. The booties. Yeah, you, don't say you haven't experienced this. You've experienced. I don't this. think I've experienced this at all. Do you and not I've, remember? And I've ridden bikes as a kid a lot. Yeah, you're thinking just in terms of bicycles. How about the, those those uh, couple months where we were going to to Shaq's Twenty Four every single day, and we played so much basketball that our shirts were just made of sweat, and then it would just move around. I remember at the end of every night, we were like, "Oh my god, our nipples!" Like yeah. they were just chafing the whole time. That's really what's happening. Is the material that he's it's just chafing his skin. You should, and you just need to wear different materials. Yeah, why that. don't you wear like um his pads? Not pads, think, but like under armor, those leggings, seen, those men tights yo, with sports. I want activity. everybody to go to Google right now and look up men's bicycle shorts, like men in bicycle shorts. And I pad. just want you to take a take a look. Like take a, just take a look at a few of the pictures, like of how these people ride, and you'll see uh, some some very some very big imprints. They basically ride. They free ball in the shorts, I would and they, they don't. Will. And they don't wear anything over it, so it's like it's um it's quite a show, if you ask me. It's like Is it's it? just <laughs> tights, bro. It's just tights, yeah. like. Like every like I wear um they're boxer briefs but they're like tights you know what I mean so it's just like leggings almost if when you wear the whole pants one it's just yeah basically yeah that shit helps with you know keeping you dry and shit when you're doing yeah I'm activities. just I don't know if I'm that <laughs> confident yet no I'm not telling you just to only wear that I'm saying like wear that like I wear sh- the short ones that goes like right above my knee every day. Yeah. Like just like that's what I do, and I'll wear like a pair of shorts over those. That's what I basically do. Or no pairs. sweat, nothing down there. Everything's fresh. That's what you fresh want. and dry. Do you yeah. hit it with like baby powder? No. no. Those uh, those weird underwear that like have the separate compartment for your like your balls and whatnot. Hanes is making one of those now, so apparently those things are becoming mainstream. I don't know how I feel about those. Separate compartment. Separate compartment. Have you not seen those? They have like a little, like a like a sack, like like a little pouch for your balls. Like your dick goes above it, and then there's a pouch just for your balls. So you just like Mm -hmm. scoop your cock and balls into this thing. I guess so. I've never I've never tried one on, so I don't know what the process for putting these underwear on is. He says he's open for it. I'm open to try it. Absolutely. Yeah. If 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 it's a thing that's going around <laughs> and and people are enjoying it, then it must be decent at least. So why the fuck not? Yeah. I'd go all in, sack all in, all the way in. That's all a sack is- boy. <laughs> it's a sack boy. That's what yeah. That's what we're calling them shits. The sack boys. Ooh. Okay. All right, Mateo. How was uh, your week or weekend? What's been going on with well, snow? well, Jose. My week was pretty calm. Eight. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've got nothing, dude. I watched uh, uh, that new episode of Invincible. 
I did not. Just good. Oh man, <laughs> it's good. I, or the it's Winter Soldier. Up. Both of those, please. I've, I'm gonna watch them later winter, today. I finished a Winter Soldier. That new uh, that new uh, Captain America outfit is tight, dude. That is a badass outfit. <laughs> um, finished up the show Maniac on Netflix. Y'all seen that show at all? It's got Jonah Hill and Emma Stone. Oh, uh, that was so good. I enjoyed that. I saw yeah, that years ago, though. I kept I kept meaning to watch it, and then like just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. One time I tried to watch it, but I was super drunk. So like I got like like the first episode, I was like wandered off to do something else, and like, <laughs> but finally like sat down and like watched it. That was my workout show this week, and uh, that show is good, man. That show is amazing. Yeah. But yeah. I, I enjoyed that show. Yeah. It was Jonah um, Hill. I like Jonah it, Hill. It had like uh, it, it's it who it's, damn. There's like a famous director or a producer on that show that. That has worked on other movies that are kind of like mind fucky or whatever, but like gotcha. that's how it kind of plays out. It's like it's kind of fucking with your mind, because mm-hmm. um, a lot of it, I think most of it's taking place in Jonah Hill's brain, right? Yeah, it's in the uh, the computer, like the computer that's running the simulation that's putting them through the. They call them reflections in the show, and it's like basically like these alternate realities. Huh. It's it's wild. It's 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 worth watching. Oh, what's it's, that it covers, on? Like on Netflix. It's about like, like trauma and like mental illness and like, I don't know. Jonah Hill and Emma Stone just have such good chemistry together. Like ever since like Super Bad, those two play off each other incredibly well. Yeah, that movie is really a shame too that that uh, you didn't get more interaction between them. Like, there's like a couple funny moments early on in the movie, and then pretty much the whole movie they don't interact until the ending again. And like, yeah. I agree. I think they have good chemistry. And mm-hmm. it's, a, it, I don't know, it's kind of, as I, you know, Superbad is probably, between Superbad and Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I think those are my two favorite comedy movies, like, of all time. They're just yeah, fucking no hilarious. Shit. Yeah, I, I can't get over how funny they are, like. Um, <laughs> Even better yeah, than just one, one, one gripe is, is, uh, is yeah, it's just that, that uh, Jonah Hill and Emma Stone didn't interact more. What was that, Tony? Even more than Step Brothers? The Step Brothers not up there? Nah. It's funny. It's, uh, Step Brothers yeah. is funny. Step Brothers. So, yeah, it's very funny. Fucking Step Brothers is funny. funny. I would put uh, I would put Talladega Nights above Ooh, Step Brothers personally. Yeah, Talladega Nights is funny. If I was Step choosing, like, there's some funny moments though. Like I love when he's playing the dude's drum set and he's like, <laughs> he runs in the house and he looks at him. He's like, what? What's going on with you? He's, Why are you sweating? He's like, I was watching cops. I was watching cops. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, or 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 when his when his brother climbs up into the fucking treehouse and he's like, "You want to punch me? You want to punch me, don't you? But you're not. You're you want to and bang, he punches him and he just falls out of like twenty like <laughs> like two stories out of the treehouse. <laughs> it's so fucking dumb. Nah, that, that shit is hilarious. The, all the, uh, damn those movies are fucking. Yeah, I like those movies a lot. But, but what's going on with you though, Pooch? Like, how's your morning? How was your weekend? What's a uh, week? Work week? What's going I mean, on? My week's been pretty chill. I've been doing this thing where I've been like, at least once every two weeks, I'm just taking a day off of work. Just like, mm-hmm. fuck it, I'm gonna take a day. Um. So yeah, I've been doing that, and that's been good, especially because I've gotten too. I've gone off the deep end playing Persona. Um, oh boy i'm like no lie i'm like 50 hours in now the what shit the is and I, a lot of that time is baked like i just kind of left the game cooking while i was doing things so that there's mm. a lot of hours like racked up like that and then my daughter also just be turning on my ps5 while i'm at work and i'll come out like hours later <laughs> and i'm like oh shit and i gotta turn it off and shit but i, so, I would say i've got like a good 30 ish hours on the game for sure so oh, you wow. just got out of the tutorial then? Yep, yep, pretty much. I'm literally doing the first, the <laughs> first like dungeon that's out of completely out of the tutorial. So what that's the nutty. fuck? Just and they still tutorial. find a way to try to hold your hand at times. It's very annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Hands down, the worst thing about that game is as you're playing it, it's just like, no, we're not gonna let you do this thing, even though you know you can do it and you're totally capable of doing it. We're just we've randomly decided to hold your hand right at this. It's like, God damn it, dude. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> and it's a stupid fucking cat. I hate cats. And this fucking cat is constantly telling me what to do. I, I find it 
Oh, a little disrespectful. Like, That's why Doughboy loves yeah. that game. That's why he loves it. Stupid fucking cat. I love, cat. yeah. I like Morgana. I like Dumb her. Fucking cat. My cat is uh, the same <laughs> color as her. Kind of has like the same pattern. Dumbass color. <laughs> <laughs> Attacking cat. Yo, <laughs> just kidding. Look, I can't fucking stand innocent. that cat. <laughs> Innocent, bro. No, no, oh, that's, I, I thought that was cat, a pair. Cat, cat, cat's been a staple of the show. Okay, yeah. I'm, not, I'm I got, you know, cats in the game. Cat, cat gets attacked. That's the rule. You know, everybody's throwing insults and attacks. So you know, it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was just <laughs> two know, shirts. Cat, two shirts. Cat on gave the me corner. a scowl the other day. Just looked, gave me a look. You know. <laughs> I swear to God, but I thought, nah, I, I thought that was dirty clothes on his bed. I didn't know that was cat. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, That'd be yeah, such a, a tiny amount. Today. He has such a tiny amount of dirty clothes. Yeah. Like, just like his bathroom clothes. I just got out of the shower. He just put it right there. So I'll deal with it later. Those are his biking shorts. He just put them right there. His biking pads. (laughs) One pair. His big boy pants. I could. No. Oh, no. It's it's, 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 too late. We're going to see his his biking shorts now. (laughs) I got to say. He's going to have a shit stain on it. Cat. (laughs) The protection for the gooch. All right. This oh area, wait, those aren't shorts. Right here, huh? Right here. Why don't you wear biking very shorts? Sore. This is. I mean, these are technically. Those are biking yeah. shorts. These are biking shorts. Right. Oh, it's inside out. I yeah. see. I was assuming it was inside out. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I don't know. It kind of looked like a football pad. I don't know if you guys play yeah. football. You just kind of scoop like, your pads they, into different slots. It just looked they, like you just put this fucking kind of a like bone. It's like a, it's like a bicycle seat inside. It looks like it's like penis shaped. It looks like a red cock. Like I was, I was thinking like the like the baboons. They have the big red ass. Like I was yeah. thinking it looked kind of like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, dude, I've been dealing with this bullshit. I need to get this shit fixed. So I, I I came a little late to recording this morning because my sprinklers turned on and they refused to turn off. Oh and I was, no! Um, this happened to me on Thursday. And I thought I fixed the problem, and I didn't fix the problem. So it happened again to me. It happened again today. And, um, yeah. So that coupled with the fact that it was pouring rain outside this morning. So I literally walked out and got soaked while I'm fucking turning off the water main and doing shit outside. Yeah, That's how I ended up getting here a little late. So Hold on. Are you, uh, is your sprinklers on, like, on a time thing? Yeah. So the time it's all set not, up properly. That don't sound like it if it's continuously to go on after it's time limit supposed to turn off. So what do you think I would have done, Tony? If if I walked outside and I saw my sprinklers were on when they weren't supposed to be on, what, what do you think I would have done? Adjust the time. Wow. And then what else? When you, if the sprinklers are still going, what would I do? Obviously, you're going to panic and turn off the water main, but you don't have to. Wow. No, I would just... You clicked the off button on your sprinkler thing. Oh no! Right? But you didn't say that. You just said you turn off the water main. Well, yeah. So I, I think you're, like the common <laughs> sense there would be that I went to the fucking sprinkler panel. I went to turn it off, and it would not turn off. So I have no, to turn no, off no. the water main to the house. I'm sorry. I was the, the, that. Like I don't know. Like whatever. I turned. I tried to turn off the sprinklers, and there's one section of my sprinklers. No matter what, even though if I turn on the other sections, that section stays on. If I oh. manually try to turn it off, the section, it'll turn off, it'll start turning off and then it'll turn back on. So what I think it is the valve, the because w- the way these like systems valve. work is that there's constant water pressure. And when you want a zone to turn on, a valve it's opens a valve. and it, that water yeah. pressure will create turn your sprinklers on. When I'm hitting the off button, if it's like the valve is attempting to close... And then it fails, it, it stops, and then it pushes back open. Or or maybe it thinks that, that that was at full position, and then the water pressure reopened. I don't know. Long story short, it's fucked up. And I just got this house. It feels like yesterday at this point, but it's been over a year. It could be yeah. that fucking mole rat fucking up all it your It could sprinkles. be the fucking mole. I have a mole. A few moles, even. I got rid of Yo. the mole. I killed that shit. Uh-huh. I bought these little poisonous worms, put them around the yard. They're, they're pet friendly, so I wasn't killing any dogs and shit. And then, you know, moles went away. I'm pretty sure they ate them and then just died and rotted in their mole holes. I've I'm never had just to came deal with back. a mole. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Cats have solved that well, shit for you too, though. Facts. Well, 
Do cats, cats kill was, moles? A they cat kill whatever's outside they in the backyard. They will sit there and wait for that shit to come out. Dude, we, we already have that issue right now. There, there's a small mouse that entered our kitchen. And, yo, Milo's on high alert, bro. I've never seen this guy. He's just sitting waiting in front of this hole. But he still hasn't killed the mouse yet. It's I'm like not, Tom well, and Jerry well, no. in the flesh, yo, bro. I, I feel... I feel like the difficulty level of killing a mole is way higher than killing a mouse. So if your cat hasn't killed this mouse yet, I don't know that I buy into this. That's his cat. I don't think think you've ever had a New York mouse inside of your apartment, okay? Once you have, then you'll understand how smart these little rat bastards are. I'm telling you that a mole, though, you have a hole where the mouse could enter, and that's the point of entry. And that's your point of failure. Milo's guarding it, and maybe that's enough. It keeps him out. The mole has the entire yard to create new holes at will. So it's like there's no one location that a cat could wait. It's like uh, that movie. Tremors I've never with seen Kevin one of Bacon. these fuckers. Sorry, what was that? What was it's that? like the movie uh, Tremors with Kevin Bacon. <laughs> hey, never seen classic it. movie. Love, one, I love that movie. Did you watch all four episodes or the? No, I only ever saw five? like the first one and the second one or something. I said episodes. I meant movies. Yeah, I saw it's all like, of them. It's like the classic game. The floor is lava. Turned into a movie. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I can say that's that. a pretty good description. I was thinking about it. Was like, eh. That's only in part one and two. Once you get to three and four, that has nothing to do. It's basically the floor is lava, but it's got those big uh, sandworms from uh, from Dune. Mm. From Dune. yeah, okay, or from okay. Beetle Beetlejuice too. Beetlejuice had big sandworms, right? Yep. And that I don't one remember that weird world or some shit. I hated bro. Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, he. I thought you looked like someone that would love it as a kid. I watched a lot of the cartoons. If you remember that cartoon, they had a Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking about the Beetlejuice movie. I don't know, man. When I was a kid, like, movies that looked weird, they just used to, like, hurt my stomach. I don't know how to describe that. It would give me such disgust that it would give me a physical (laughs) body ache. Like, I would have pain. The fuck? Like, so Beetlejuice was a movie. I couldn't watch the Addams Family movie. Really, look, man? Those are classics. Yeah, I, like, I like the movie even. But then just looking at Uncle Fester, they, those those people were so dirty. They were like, they were both so pale and their skin was so black at the same time. So, it was so fucking so gross. Do you not so what, have... what about what about some of the cartoons we grew up with then? Because we had, there were some super weird cartoons in like the late 90s and whatnot. Like, uh, shit, even Spongebob did it where they would do like the hyper realistic look of like Spongebob when he's like drying up and his yeah, face yeah, is yeah. all like broken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, my, Ren and Stimpy had all kinds of like zoom in, gross out shit in it. Yeah. 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 Oh man, it was disgusting. So Ren Very and Stimpy, su- Ren and Stimpy used to gross me out. Ah, real monsters used to gross me out. I like that show though a um, lot more than Crom, Ren and Stimpy. Crom with his like armpit hair just sticking straight out. <laughs> and even even other things that um that weren't even gross necessarily. Like, I don't know why. Whenever Space Ghost Coast to Coast came on, I just couldn't look at it. It just oh, bothered me. I love so I, I kind of missed Ghost. out. Yeah, everybody says they love Space it Ghost. Like, in really retrospect, good. I wish I could watch it, but you know, it just used to hurt my stomach. Dude, Rocky and Bullwinkle? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, that when that show sucked. used to come on, I used to just you remember hurt my that, stomach. That, that, that show, show's o- garbage. It's called O Canada. That shit used to come on late night on Cartoon Network. It was terrible. Yes. It was a bunch of Canadian, bunch of Canadian cartoons. I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers can't. These niggas do not know what cartoons are I don't know putting, I, I've always watched South Park at late at night I never really watched anything else like once once it was a certain time South Park was the was my show to watch oh so yeah, you never South watched Park any of the even... Adult Swim stuff no I did but I'm saying like <clears throat> South Park kind of took over <clears throat> damn excuse me I watched one episode and it was just like holy shit Cartman is a are, dick and I'm gonna continue to watch this show and are, like yeah. that's are, it are you dying over there Jose do we need to nah, bring Tony on it. Oh yeah, yeah Jose Tony put him on the put him on the mic. The, the husk is killing Jose and Tony's <laughs> gonna come out. Yo, um, yo, Booch, uh, do you remember when my brother figured that out about you? That like certain things grossed you out to yeah, a point. It was an asshole. The mushroom <laughs> day. My yeah. my brother like kind of was like my brother was very observant and he re- he loves to prank people too and he's kind of like an asshole. So he noticed that like Pucho had this thing with mushrooms and he's like, oh, so Pucho doesn't like mushrooms. So he went outside. He went to like a tree and had a big mushroom on it. He picked it. And came, he came up to Pucho. Hey, Pucho. So you don't like these. 
I thought you was gonna. I, I thought you was gonna say when he uh, when he was all sitting there on the couch and he's like, "Yo, Pucha, watch this real quick. That's, watch this real that's quick." After, and it was the that's fucking, the same night. That's the same motherfucker night. puts that's, a time loop like that's on like a hundred percent like speed or whatever of a mushroom growing. And as soon as that thing started fucking coming up, Pucha just started tearing up and getting chills and goosebumps. I'm like, Yo, the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Yo, Pucha got in his car, bro. I think Pucha was like, "Nah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here." <laughs> Dude, I have a mushroom story, my nigga. In my crib over here, right? I just got this crib, right? It's been over a year, but I say, I say, I say, I just got it, right? Um, why, why? Um, one day I come outside my house, right, and I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, what? As a matter of fact, I smell shit. I'm walking out and I smell shit. I'm like, yo, that's there's a shit near me. What asshole let their dog shit in my yard and just went about their day? And I'm looking around, and then I see what looks like some type of, like, Nerf material. It's, like, orange. It's bright fucking orange, by the way. Damn. And then inside, it's, it's, it's like a cage almost. Like, there's, like, four strands, like a flower almost, but it's all, like... I can't even fucking describe what this looks like. It's just like four lines and they're connected. But on the inside, it was just caked in brown. Yeah. And I was like, who the fuck took like a Nerf thing <laughs> and smeared shit in it and put it in my yard? Like that was like my running theory. Yo, it smelled like shit. I had to get like a thing to throw it out. I was so fucking disgusted. And then when I was ripping it out, I was like, man, they really, like, put that into the ground, man. I was some like, effort. They put some like, effort in this. <laughs> fuck this I neighbor. was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then, like, maybe, like, a couple months pass, and I noticed that a mushroom is growing around the same location where the shit thing was put. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, it's just like a little white bulb. And I was like, oh, man, I got to fucking deal with mushrooms. Like, And I was looking at this thing, and I was like, oh, whatever. Then later, I'd leave for work. I come back. When I come back from work, it's a little larger. Yo, <laughs> is this shit, like, growing that fast? Like, it looked like I could see it a little bigger. And I'm like, damn, there's a little orange tint to that, too. And I'm like, is this that fucking Nerf thing? And then, so then I let it grow for a couple more days. And lo and behold, this little white mushroom that was, like, just like a bulb, it grew into, like, this cone like a football shaped thing until the sides kind of ripped open and again it was four strands Br it was bright orange at this point it looked like a nerf foam and again it smelled like pure shit there was all this brown gunk caked on the inside it was fucking That's disgusting Ew. so for any listeners out there you might you know maybe i'm growing like gremlins in my yard <laughs> or maybe i got some poisonous mushrooms i'll let you home because what? i am not a nature boy at all well, i am i grew up in the city i don't know shit about this stuff maybe you have some really good mushrooms growing like maybe you can make some money like selling those mushrooms <laughs> i am drive them out sure. and go on a trip no, I'm absolutely sure you need like horses and shit like that. For I don't know. He's mushrooms. got dead mole rats all in his grass. Yeah, that I, shit is. I, I would not eat the fucking mushrooms that grow off of the dead mole rats. Maybe, my head maybe, the, hardest, huh? maybe the worse they smell, the better that they make you trip, dude. It could, oh, it could happen. No, that'd be so, terrible. Yeah. Extreme. So, how terrible. are you doing, Tony? Oh, thank you for asking. On, my man, right hand you. man, Yo, Pooch, always comes. I don't want to hear that. Oh, right no one, no one yeah. wants to be your right hand man. You know what's Yo. so interesting, right? First, you go to Doughboy first, right? We're doing a clap sync at the beginning of this episode. Doughy goes first. And then every single episode, when he asks how people are doing, he always picks Doughboy first. Not only does that show who he actually favors, but in the hierarchy of our viewers, in, in the view, me and Mateo are the bottom people, okay? And so it just seems like there's some top bias here. That's all, mm -hmm. all I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm witnessing this. I'm calling it. I'm speaking truth to power. That's crazy. Uh, you know? Yeah. I don't know Yo, how there's me... favoritism. If I kill this man off within the first 18 minutes of being my right-hand man, and you had the whole episode. Damn. Yeah, no, eight minutes. Oh. Don't get it twisted. I remember Damn. how long it There's a it lot of hostility me. up here in this Yo, top level, my nigga. Come can, on. We can chill. I see... <laughs> Can I check out that nice fancy uh, stroller that's behind you? I want to see what my boy is going to be whipping. All right. So I was going to get into that, but we got into the whole upper and lower parts of this region. Ah. So, yeah. uh, 
The thing's pretty smooth Ooh. as far as those even, even does, flows. Uh, does, uh, it have a, a, does it have a cup holder for your beer or? Facts. Ooh. Right here. That looks like a quality stroller. My stroller was. Um, Look at that. A hand radius. My, my cousin. Yeah, that shit has like a good. Yeah, my cousin gave me her stroller, which was a decent stroller. But, you know, it, it had gone through a couple babies. So, you know, it didn't have the same uh, vitality that like a brand new stroller would have, you know, <laughs> that stroller looked like that shit could hit 360 degree, you know, 180 degree, 270 degree turn hairpin angles at a moment's notice. Like it ain't even ain't even breaking a sweat. That's the crazy Tony's going to jade turn that thing right there. The, the crazy thing is, Pooch, <laughs> that uh, the reason why we got it, because it grows. So, like, how Doughboy's car seats gift or is just forever, this was forever, too. So, it, this is the newborn car seat that grows into the, after the three months, this will be the regular car seat. And it comes with a, a base that you can put in the car. So, then all you got to do is just take this car seat off and just clip it right into the um the stroller here. And, yeah, that's uh, how that's how most of the baby strollers work. Yeah, the one my cousin gave me the stroller, the the, the baby the the infant seat, and yeah. yeah, again the stroller had a thing. I just had to buy a base for the car, but you just clip the stroller into the thing. Now, obviously, my daughter's not in the car seat no more, or in that little ass car seat no more. And then so literally, she just this uses shit. the stroller like that. Then when they're older, you'll clip this into the damn stroller, and they can sit in this now for what, what, a what long brand ass is this? time. Is this, is this Graco? He, he took off his headphones. He can't no, hear it's you. At even all. flow. I can oh, hear you guys. He hearing you. It's even flow. <laughs> Shout out to even flow. All right, Facts. we want that sponsorship. Big supporters right? over here. Of Yo, show, show them features off. What, 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 what kind of sun visor does it have? Oh, does it, can it block the sun? Right here, boy. Oh my god. Ah. Tony, you got to work on presenting stuff, dude. Yeah, Ooh, do your hard. do your do your yeah. Vanna White. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Dude, if, if you hold it like that while the baby's in there, ooh, DC wife's gonna come for that ass, right? I've, ah, so, so it's got a even a back support for your child. This is wow. quality, quality stuff here from you. That's but is there back, lumbar support? The lumbar. That's, more, that's more back support than Tony's got in his chair right now. That's a fucking <laughs> fact. <laughs> but no, yeah, this bro, this thing grows with the kids. So, and then on top of that, if we have another one. Mm -hmm. We can still use that car seat, uh, if it's still rated. We can still use the car seat, and we'll have two, because now you can do two. And it's a modular system, this stroller. Well, so, wow. Yeah, actually, like, like, modular. I was just looking it up. Actually, if you have triplets next, and you get three of those three of those strollers, yep, you can they combine too. into one giant robot that you Fucking can use to fight little baby kaijus. <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> look at this, bro. Look, how, look, look at the fucking... Bro, this is a whole camping type thing. This jit can sleep. Look at that. It's a bed. My oh, wow. It turns into a bed. Yeah, even crazy. flow. Fire products. Even flow. I'm not even going to lie. That's fire. Durable. I could like talk to <laughs> Won't even break. <laughs> Won't even break. <laughs> oh, but it's like, That's like, a classic movie moment, right? He tosses it. It just shatters into pieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then you can raise this up so it can get up closer to the mother. Or the father, uh, nice. But um, no, nah, yeah, it's, it's this thing is fire, dude, and it's gray. Emily wanted to get gray; she didn't want it all black. And the I love gray. gray. It's like a carbon fiber metallic gray type thing. You know, mm -hmm. I'm throwing a lot of names out there right now, but no, nah, it's fire, bro. I like it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Zero zero turn everything, but yeah, I don't yeah. know, guys. For some reason, I don't think we're actually gonna get that even flow sponsorship. <laughs> Why so not didn't put enough like emphasis on, 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 on the quality of the build materials, on the feature set that's coming with this even what do you flow mean, bro? This... baby stroller with the car seat attachment and detachment system to attach to a car. You, you need to talk this shit up, right? Look, use I have not used words. it enough, even flow. I haven't used it enough, but I do you need have to hit one. them KPIs, man. I do have one complaint. <laughs> I have one complaint, even flow. This right here, I need to have like an attachment to where I can have a fan here or or an attachment for my concealed carry weapon in here. You know what I mean? Like I got, I got to put like a, a shotgun or something to protect the little one while I'm out in the streets. Feel me? So what you hmm. want to do is you want to put like your your uh, 
like a Glock holster right on the handle so that you're strolling through like your local Target or Walmart and you're like, doo, 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 doo. and then somebody's like, hey, sir, uh, do, do, do you know what aisle the bread? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And you just start <laughs> clapping. <laughs> No. What is wrong with you? Oh my God. No, no. He, has to, he has to buy the NRA, the, the, the NRA edition. <laughs> Maybe still. Even flow, the NRA edition. Nah, the, but, Draco, uh, the, the Draco holster. Nah, in all reality, though, this is a. Got the Draco with your Graco? Got the fuck? This is a That's really a, good fucking stroller. Like, I, honest, is, I would recommend this to a lot of people who have kids and stuff. Like, the um, the, it's just the fact that you can maneuver your child any which way possible, and uh, the flexibility of using it is fantastic. And it's bro, the setup. I thought you know when you get strollers, you have to build this shit together. All I had to do is just take it out of the box and just pop the pop the wheels in. It's just like a simple interlocking thing. I was like, oh, this is simple as hell. I love this shit. And so yeah, we fucks with even flow out here. Big even flow, one hundred tops. That- Mm, that's gonna be the new even flow slogan. What he fucks with even flow he out fucks here. With even flow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's it's uh it's definitely a beautiful stroller. <laughs> Strollers are expensive, mind you. The price was like three fifty. Don't quote me. It's around, I believe. Um, but uh, no, nah, yeah, man, it was a gift. We got it, and uh, it's fantastic. It's lightweight. That's the big. That's the big thing. Because I guess as a father or as a mother, it's easy. To forget how heavy some strollers could be. And then with a baby in the car seat or in the, you know what I mean? It's like, so this, this is why we wanted that. So we don't have to take the little one out and wake him up if he's sleeping. It's just a quick click, click, bow, dropping it, Glock inserted, ready to go with the Draco and the Graco. We out here. That's how we doing it. Graco's a whole different brand. I am going to put LED lights. I'm definitely going to put LED lights on that. I got the That's bottom. That's going to help that baby. It's going to help that baby sleep. That's a good call. You should put your boombox in there too. <laughs> I might. The GPL might. attachment. Some Facts. sort of low rider attachment. <laughs> got the airbags. airbags. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, just, just for just for any would be parents that are listening, don't don't let your children sleep in a car seat. Okay. If if they're if they're sleeping in your car seat. And you take them out their car seat and put it in your house. Don't 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 let them stay in there for more than you know 20, 30 minutes or so. They, they, babies like to sleep in car seats, I'll say. All right, but a lot of babies die in their car seats. Par- yes. Parents just leave the baby in the car seat because they're like, oh, they're sleeping, and they'll just let them sleep there for hours, and then they'll come back to a dead baby. Why would the so baby be dead? What's it's that? not the, it's not a good place to leave your child to sleep. It's not yeah, like yeah. a proper position. Their air circulation can cut off if they go to down. Oh, it, okay, okay, are, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, All it's right. it's linked. It's linked to SIDS, right? Yeah. So just mm-hmm. like just letting you know that I've been in the position where my daughter's been asleep in the car seat, and I did what you, what you mentioned, put it in the area, and then chill for a little while to get situated and stuff like that. I think they don't recommend that your kid be in a car seat for more than like two hours, like something like that. Like okay. there's an amount of time. So just 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 a just a heads up for uh, some info for Tony and any would be parents that may be listening or. Or even current parents that, that are, are doing those types of things, you know? Shit. I had one of my family the other day. They, they fucking, they have a newborn baby in, in the car seat facing forward. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> yeah, what? This shit is crazy. This shit is crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, so you know. You're not supposed to have your baby facing forward? No. Newborn? Not they even always- newborn. My daughter's a year and a half and she's still facing back. Okay. Their body's just not strong enough. Like, like, so, like, if you get into a car accident, right, and they're in their car seat, if it's facing like where the back is towards the front, well, they have their the back of their head, their neck, their shoulders, their whole brace. back to kind of brace that impact. Whereas if it was the other way, their whole head would just probably detach. <laughs> like, or oh, you know no. what I mean? Like they wouldn't. I mean, I don't think it would really detach, but I think it, they'll it break the neck or something like that. Like I, I don't think they have the support to 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 withstand such an impact. Like, yeah. You know. And just to throw out there, even flow, read the fucking instructions and follow them, seats, people. One hundred percent, guaranteed products. 
even flow. Just even flow. <laughs> we fucks uh, with even flow. Um, we fucks with even flow. Read but the yeah. fucking instructions and follow them. Read the friendly manual. Freaking um, double. You also brought up a good point. Um, chairs. This old fucking chair that I have has destroyed my back. So I've been on this rant now. You guys know off, off pod that uh, I've been looking for a new chair. And I think I, I am going to buy a secret lab chair. 100%. Um, we all sit in these chairs, especially during the pod, at least two hours, maybe more. <clears throat> and then during the weekends. <clears throat> God, Jose is killing me. Hold on. You need to drink some water. He's dying over there. All right, Tony's back, this, boys. Tony is back. I don't know why this chair, though. This chair looks like it's in pre- pretty solid condition. I like the, uh, the part right there above his shoulder that's flaking. <laughs> this is fake leather. This is that Napa leather. <laughs> it's that <Napa> leather. <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, I'm definitely going to invest in a good chair because we sit in these chairs. Like, we all game. So it's like mm-hmm. any gamer out there, anybody who plays games for more than eight hours, or not even, uh, for more than four hours a day, Y'all know a chair is key to the game. So I'm just going to say, you know, bump it. Uh, Secret Labs got great quality chairs here. They got a beautiful five-year warranty, extended warranty, a 49-day refund and return policy. So it's like, you know, a lot of people say gaming chairs is all hype shit or whatever. But, man, the reviews are in. And I've read a lot of them in the... I'm gonna take the dive, man. Is is Tony going for the sponsorship this episode? What what is what is going on with this with this intro here? Hey, the secret lab. I'm gonna man. be honest. A- anybody I, want a drink? Brought to you by yeah. Jameson. <laughs> we fucks <laughs> with the Jamo boys. Yo, Jameson, Jamo we hard. go hard, Jamo. We go hard in Yo, the paint. Tony, I think they have a Patriots one that you could get for that secret labs chair. I know how much you like America's team, so like that is an option if you wanted to get some decals on it. All right, so yeah, the so gaming proud. chair is so good. It has, it also has like a reclining thing where you can lay pretty flat, bro. If you want to take a break from the intense Persona Five cat attacks, like it goes so, flat like a bed. Yeah, it goes fucking flat, dude. It, 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 that thing is, and it's a heavy duty for the big boys too, because there's a lot of big boys out there. <clears throat> I feel, feel like that weight distribution is going to be off if you go flat. I think you go flat, your head's hitting the ground. I went on YouTube, saw a big boy did it. That thing's big boy. That's, that shit is husk proof. Wait until I get it. It's husk, husk proof. Ready. Huh? For, for, the, for the listeners out there who don't know, <laughs> what when Tony says husk proof, right? Tony does this thing, right? Where he doesn't give a fuck about anybody's furniture. <laughs> you know, he just sort of like sits Yo. in it as hard as he wants. Incorrect. And he just sort of abuses things all the time. This, this happens constantly. And occasionally people call him out for it. They're like, dude, like, you know, you kind of sat on my couch a little hard there, buddy. Like, and he's like, no, nah, I'm just husk testing it. You know, I want to see if your couch is husk proof. And what he does is then he'll be like, nah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to break your couch. And if I don't succeed at breaking it, then your couch is husk certified. <laughs> it is. It could withstand the husk. That's Why a, we call this a husk? I don't know. That's don't a whole. Know. That's it's, a story for another day. We, maybe yeah. we'll invite Everett on the pod to 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 give some deets on that. But on the husk, yeah. But yeah, I rate everybody's shit right. So that's what rate I do. It. I'm gonna rate Break this it. secret lab Titan that I'm about to order, and it's gonna be fire. That the gerbils, not husk proof. The not rock husk-proof. band drum set, not husk proof. That that plastic port, plastic port Sonic shit. three. Everett's grandmother's yeah. chair. No, that ever damaged that. That was a pre damage. Um, <laughs> that was a husk certifying. It that, just broke. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, last thing too is that uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy that chair, right? And uh, this past Saturday, or yesterday actually, I was at a flag football league tournament or tournament or something. I like, uh, uh, whatever. It was a flag football um, game. A couple of my boys are in it. So they're like, yo, come out and chill and show love. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, fuck it. I don't really got nothing to do in the morning. So I went out there or whatever. And now I regret it because I don't know if you can see it, but your boy got burnt out there. Mm. Arms are I- fucking burnt to the core. 
Aren't you out in the sun every day? I thought you would have your tolerance built up. No, but I have long sleeves. Like I'm just, I, I'm, I'm basically a bowl person. I just been work from home for the past year. I am not. I, I'm not looking forward to this Texas summer where I'm actually going to get out and about because I'm going to get sunburned just constantly, and I never get sunburned. Lotion up, man. Sunscreen, got to. I think. I think the problem with this is that I put Jergens on before I left, and I think the and Jergens it cooked like, you. Yeah, it bro. Cooked you. It, like that shit, like baked the hell out of me. Yeah, Shout out to Jergens. Jergens is like great the- healing lotion for the skin. Oh yo. my god! I ain't yeah. even on front. <laughs> Jergens is the only lotion I would ever wear because all the other nah. lotions leave me mad wet and right. and, and and I don't know. But I'm just saying. Mm, so, yeah, let's so let's whip for, out that for, new Jergens tagline. Jergens, we know what you're really doing. <laughs> hey. yeah. Lubiderm, okay. Uh, Lubiderm, Lubiderm, all day. All right, uh, Lubiderm. Nah, all right. it's just not even proper. You guys are still using lotion. You guys are supposed to use cream if you guys want to do proper moisturizing. Look, let me give you, let me, let me give you a little background. All right, for the for for the, my, a long time in my adolescence, I used to box. Right, I meaning I used to throw a lot of punches. I used to punch a lot of things. All right, I've got some ashy motherfucking knuckles. All right. Uh, it's a thing. I got some ashy knuckles, yo. And so I would put lotion constantly. And all the lotion does, it's just, it's like a band aid, you know? It makes it look, my hands look nice and moisturized for now, but they'll get ashy again later. That was until I discovered O'Keefe's working oh. hands <laughs> for a working man, okay? These thing, this thing has <laughs> revitalized the skin on my hand. This shit looks like you can't. Oh, look at that. Like a new... Look at that. Look at them knuckles. Nice and fresh. Dude, like a newborn's ass, all right? It, it's... My hands are now pristine, all right? It's O'Keefe's working hands. And for all you athletes out there who also got working feet, like myself, O'Keefe makes a working feet product, okay? Wow. And that shit works wonders. It's brought back the vitality and the life back to my feet. Shout out to O'Keefe's. If you we mix them up, what happens to your hands and feet? Like you use the working um, hands honestly, on your feet. You use the working feet on your hands. Yeah, I, I don't think there's a difference. I think they just have a different branding just to sell that. You know, oh, like you oh. can't call your lotion, your cream, working hands, and then go and put it on your foot. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. So, what what sponsorship are you about to whip out here, Tony? What's going on? Also, <laughs> for sunburns, shout out to CVS. Feel me? That is just a, <laughs> too much. Just there you go. Right. <laughs> Sunburn relief cooling gel. Facts. Motherfucker got Walmart brand. My wife got it actually for me. I don't. I didn't really go out there and buy this shit. Oh, shout outs to Walmart too. Feel me? I fucks with Walmart. Mm. You feel me? We don't mm. do. I only fucks with Publix for the subs. Shout out to them as well. You fuck with Wally World. Yeah, I actually I stopped fucking with Wally World for a little bit because they they just stopped doing the twenty four hours open shit. I used to love me and I used to go there, two a.m. three a.m. We couldn't sleep. You know, we wake up, do our thing, and then go to Walmart. Yo, there's a bunch of shit at Walmart that you can just get. That's how you end up with all the weirdos, man. The weirdest people in the fucking world go to Walmart at two o'clock in the morning. Oh, you didn't I was, hear what Tony I'll just stay said. Stay strapped, buddy. I go said, to do. T- what? We, he's like, I used to love going to Walmart at 2 a.m. We would wake up and do our thing and then go to Walmart. Who the fuck is waking up <laughs> at 1 o'clock in the morning and then deciding to go to Walmart? It's a fucking weirdo. Oh, <laughs> what what time are you fuck? sleeping that you're waking up in the middle of the night to go to Walmart? We go to bed like 10, 11. And he's going over there with a gun. Like the, you're two, right. The fucking on weirdo. two hours of sleep, he's going over there sleep deprived with a gun to Walmart. Nah, he's out there. I wish pushing. a motherfucker would. He's, like, he's gonna whip out the fucking Draco. Out Excuse his Draco me, sir. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Bitch was coming at me sideways. <laughs> I'm half asleep. Bitch got me nervous. <laughs> no, all fairness, gun gun control, and all that. Be safe, guess, guys. Don't don't. I do guess it's stupid. a good thing. Guess the good thing y'all are out in Florida with that stand your ground bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> Some of that, that shit, shit won't work, man. Some of it won't work. You can. It, I, I I literally think that shit depends on certain certain aspects, but we'll get into that another time. <laughs> yeah, but that shit's wild. So, 
So, Tony, you remember last time that we asked you how your day was and you went for like 30 minutes and then you got offended that we did the little like the video with the 20 minutes. Yeah, it's coming. Whatever? It's coming. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that I have a lot of good things that happen every week. Like everything I got. I got a story every week because some shit just happens. You know, I'm going to be honest. I went into this episode a little blind. I don't know what the topics are. I thought that, I thought we were talking secret labs. I thought that was a topic. I was like, hey, we're talking about lumbar support. I'm cool with that. No, yeah, yeah we guess. all need chairs. Well, look at all of our chairs. I get, Only Mateo is the only one that has a great chair. I got a good chair. You know? I'm not oh. a fancy chair. I got a good chair, though. Talking to, this, We are going to go into Secret Lab Talks now. A Hewl, uh, uh, Hewler Miller chairs? Is, am I saying it right? A Herman Miller chairs? That sounds better. Yeah, I don't probably know if that's Herman. right, but that sounds I think better. it's Herman Miller. Sorry, <laughs> Hewler Miller. I, I was thinking of Bueller, and then Hewler came in. But, Human Waller. Uh, yeah, those chairs are fucking expensive. Actual office chairs are pricey, dude. Dude, I looked at it. I'm like, yo, where's the high back support? But I guess you don't need it because how it how it just bro. It's it's because of the way they adjust. Like your gaming chair is gonna have like uh, like a tilt and a height. And maybe an angle thing or something, it does. but like, but that's about it. The, the you know your your office chair. I mean, I've got like seven adjustments here on the bottom of this chair for uh, for various things. How so do you go, know the height? Just kind of what feels good. Your seating position. You want to be upright. Want to have your lower back touching. Typically, you don't want to really have like your lean on. Is uh, just all depends. It, it, there's like the chair height. There's the seat itself usually is on a sled, so you could move it in and out and lock it in a position. There's the tilt. There's how even if you say you wanted to unlock it to like lean back, like a lot of people like to see. I like to lock my chair. If I unlock the shit, I'd be laying like a dick. People people like to sit like that. I, I, I don't whatever. This, if yeah. you did want to sit that way though, a lot of people like to leave their chair unlocked. There's like a, a thing you could adjust that'll. It's almost like pounds of of uh, of resistance, pretty much. So it's like you have to lean back really hard in order for the chair to go back. So it'll basically give you like a solid support until you really lean back. Then there's you could adjust where your lumbar support is and things like that. Yeah, like like Matthew said, there's like seven different things you could adjust on those chairs. I, oh, I have lumbar? a chair. I don't know what kind of what kind of chair it is. I remember I looked it up. These things are barely name brand too. I, I tried to find it because when I started working from home, I was like, yo, I want my office chair at home. When I looked it up, it was like twelve hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, these motherfuckers what? are spending twelve hundred dollars on an office chair. Like that's just crazy. Yep, that's that was that that was the average cost of the chairs in my office. There, it's it's nuts, dude. Obviously, you get like a bulk discount when you're buying, you know, like 50 chairs at once or something. But still, it's it's crazy. That's insane, dude. Mm -hmm. I thought that $2,000 chair was crazy. But damn, I'm in the wrong business. I should have been selling chairs. Selling chairs. <laughs> Facts. But you know what's good with good chairs? You can watch a lot of good movies and stuff without dealing with back pains. You know what I'm saying? That you... Talking about movies, I actually watched Hancock again for the fifth time. Mm. Yeah, I'm not gonna say. I'm I thought you were gonna say you finished Hamilton. I was gonna be proud of you. Doey would probably call that movie Dick Cock. Dick Cock. Oh, yeah, Dick Cock or, or Cock Cock. Cock Cock. Cock Cock. That's yeah. That's beast, though. But don't ever call that shit that again. I call it Penis Cock. Wow. Shout out to Felix. All right, he always. Laughs his ass off, and he can't stand when Dewey inserts the word "cock" into other words. It's it's a that's that's like a moment that always brightens my day. Is when Dewey does that, which I've just learned to completely ignore, and then Felix reacts to it, and that shit is just funny. <laughs> like Dewey will be like, "Yeah, I'm still playing Persona Cock." He's like, "Why you gotta do Persona's the whole name? It's you already said it. you don't gotta add a cock." It's not like yeah, he'll he'll play. he'll be playing a game, and I'm like, "Oh, you're you're playing." Uh, trials of cold steel cock <laughs> trials of cold cock that's cause you attack trials his game. of cold hard cock yeah. <laughs> I'll just give it very I'll keep asking him but in like very uh, variations very, of it <laughs> yeah.